In a laboratory, a rat is let loose and placed in a cage. When it is caught and consumed by an unseen power, it emits a food-related odor. Sebastian conducts a failed simulation while working on a chemical formula on his computer. He watches his neighbor undress, and when she shuts the curtains, he is upset. He runs another simulation after having an epiphany and revising the chemical formula. The element is displayed as steady this time. To inform Linda of the solution, Sebastian gives her a call. She tells him it's no longer his concern when he notices the man sleeping in her bed. He demonstrates his ability to crack the chemical solution for reversal to Linda. The fact that he was able to solve it without warning has pleased her. Matt is awakened by Linda's announcement that they must go to the lab. Matt believes she should inform Sebastian about them. At the appropriate moment, even though she advises him they should bring their own vehicles. Sebastian shows up at the lab that morning in a well-secured facility. He enters an elevator by scanning his fingerprint and entering his password. Thermal imaging is the only way to see the invisible animals within the lab. Matt greets a gorilla named Isabel and strokes an orangutan. When she leaps at the cage, every animal freaks out. He calms the animal by donning infrared goggles to see her. She bites him and flees as he enters the room to put her to sleep. She had been acting more aggressively, Matt informs Sebastian as he chases her through the lab. Isabel's brain is beginning to suffer because she has been unseen for so long. With a tranquilizer gun in hand, Sebastian wagers on Matt to reach her first. They locate her and encircle her. Sebastian calms her down. Sarah charges at them and confronts Sebastian about giving Isabel the serum injection before it has been tested. He believes it will save time, but she believes it is unethical. Her protests are overruled by him. As Linda joins them, she tells Sebastian that Sarah is the best veterinarian in the nation, which is why he hired her. Later, Linda informs Sebastian that she will be ready shortly as she prepares the serum. Carter enters and says he's merely the medical standby, after Sarah tells him the gorilla is doing fine. They are also prepared, Frank informs them over the phone from Tech. Matt prepares the injection pistol while Linda locks the serum inside it. After Sarah locates a vein in Isabel's arm, Sebastian takes the rifle from Matt and promises to do it himself. The liquid clearly circulates through her veins and body once he injects her. She has an increased heartbeat. They are pleased that it's working as the gorilla's body starts to appear. Her condition abruptly deteriorates, and she experiences cardiac arrest. Linda uses a defibrillator to shock Isabel when her heart stops beating. She repeats it several times until her heart begins to beat normally. Isabel's physique keeps showing, when she starts to stabilize. Her quantum fingerprints have stabilized, Tech tells them. Everyone is happy that they succeeded. Sarah believes she will be alright. Afterward, they all accompany her back to her cell. Sarah becomes furious when Sebastian tells her to prepare for a vivisection on Monday. But Matt reassures her that he's kidding. He is, too. In a way. Linda interrupts and proposes that they go celebrate their accomplishment. In a restaurant, they celebrate. Following their heart to heart. Sebastian expresses his desire to reunite with Linda. She turns him down. He returns to the lab to see how Isabel is doing. He pets the invisible dog there and inquires about what it's like to be invisible. Sebastian later reports their results to a committee at the Pentagon. To the surprise of Linda and Matt, Sebastian lies when Dr. Kramer asks him how they resolve the reversion issue. Kramer claims that they must see results quickly, and that he will find a replacement if they are unable to make it work. Matt and Linda are furious with him, but Sebastian clarifies that the Pentagon would have assumed full control of their project if they had disclosed their discoveries. Their next move in his opinion, should be to enter human trials themselves, without permission. Sebastian informs them that this is their opportunity to win the Nobel Prize and make a difference in the world. Matt is concerned that they may end up in trouble. None of the team members approve of the strategy when they later present it to them. Sarah is shocked that the committee authorized it, despite Sebastian's best efforts to persuade them. Sebastian assures them that they will still have to go through it, regardless of their opinions. Sebastian mocks Matt, when he tells him he might change his mind on the day of the treatment. After entering and placing Sebastian on the bed, they restrain him and attach an IV drip. He claims that his heart rate is high, and that he feels a little stressed as a result. Janice and Frank quarrel over who will inherit his Porsche in the event of his passing. Sebastian requests to inject the serum himself after they irradiate it, claiming that the others cannot be held responsible if something goes wrong. Linda calls the moment when he administers the serum. When they don't observe anything happening to his body right away, everyone becomes quite alarmed. Sebastian feels something all of a sudden. The process of turning invisible begins in spots throughout his body as he starts to spasm. According to Sebastian, the pain is far worse than he anticipated. Frank informs them that he is about to have a seizure. 
His vital signs grow increasingly more unpredictable as he fades into obscurity. Frank informs them that he is starting to shift as they prepare the defibrillator, so Matt instructs them to wait to use the paddles. As his vital signs stabilize, they all observe his transformation. Frank is the one who signals the phase change to occur when he becomes totally invisible. Matt claims to be well, but the tragedy has left him in shock. When Sebastian awakens 17 hours later, he cries in agony and begs Linda and Matt to switch off the lights. Linda responds that although he can close his eyes, his eyelids are transparent. He claims he is unable to do so. After Sebastian gets up and approaches the mirror, the three of them proceed to the lab's main area. Before Frank obtains a pair of goggles and notices, him wearing them, he starts playing tricks on everyone right away. While Sarah does the same in the other room, Matt and Linda lead him back to his room and switch on the observation monitor. Carter is going to take the following shift after she takes the first. Sarah switches off the lights and grabs the final monitor. She quickly nods off, and Sebastian enters the observation room after passing through the lab. While she is sleeping, he starts to caress her. Sarah asks him if he's in there when she wakes up and checks the monitors, but he immediately returns to his bed. She tells Linda about it, the following day, but she feels terrible and is unsure if it truly happened. Matt wants to talk to him, but Sarah warns him not to, and Linda is also at a loss about what to do. He questions Sebastian as if it were standard routine after examining his vitals. The findings indicate that everything is how it should be. He manages to make Sarah feel even more uneasy after she removes the medical equipment from him. She goes to the bathroom after Frank and Janice enter the lab, but she feels like someone is watching her, so she puts on the thermal goggles so she can urinate. After lunch, she even tells Carter the same thing. The group discusses Sebastian's potential actions now that he is invisible. They all seem to agree that he won't be up to anything worthwhile. A seemingly vacant chair spins around as soon as they exit the kitchen. All along, he was listening to them. Linda's shift at the lab is that night. Sebastian starts to tamper with her as well, relocating her coat can about the lab while she is working on the serum. As he starts massaging her, he asks if she would like to experience what it would be like to have sex with an invisible guy on his final night in that state. She turns down his advances. The following day, Linda sprays his arm to reveal his veins while Matt and Carter get ready to phase him back with the serum. As with Isabel previously, they inject him with the serum, and it manifests. He cries that something is wrong, and starts to choke as more of his organs start to show. His vitals started to fluctuate. Sarah instructs Carter to intubate him after realizing that his lungs are seized. When Sebastian resists his bindings, the men keep him in place. With amazing energy, he pulls Carter away and kicks Matt off of himself. He stands up and appears confused as his flesh starts to appear and vanish once more. Before Matt compresses his heart, and he becomes invisible once more, Sarah and Linda intubate him. They detect a heartbeat, but as he vanishes once more, he enters shock. Later, Sebastian awakens with Linda at his side. He nearly died, she tells him. According to him, the committee doesn't yet need to know what transpired. They create a synthetic mask for him, because he will be trapped in that state for some time. While the mask is still on him, Linda makes two holes for his eyes, and a slit for his mouth. To help him see himself, Matt brings him a mirror. They must now determine what went wrong. Matt and Linda, who work from home, are unable to figure out the reversion serum's formula. He claims that he lacks Sebastian's brilliance and ability to draw the correct conclusion. After 10 days, Sebastian is becoming ill both physically and mentally as a result of all the tests they have been administering. After arguing with Matt about it, Linda gives him consolation. Sebastian claims that their assistance is insufficient. He decides to depart that evening because he can no longer bear to remain there. He tells Carter, but the regulations prevent him from leaving. Sebastian claims that he has the authority to alter the rule, telling him he will return in a few hours, he departs. 